first poll of stumps, winner of the child stakes in England, a group three stake. She, a granddaughter of Lucas Land, one of the toughest fillies we saw in Europe of recent years. Champion sprinter... Anthony Stroud, Sheikh Mohammed's racing manager, tells the story of Sonic Lady's purchase for $500,000 at the Phasic Tipton July sale in Kentucky. She was an exceptionally good looking individual. She had a lot of presence, and whenever she walked out, she looked as if she was the queen of the sales. She um, was a real character, and she had very good confirmation. She was by an exceptionally good horse, Nuria, out of a good mare stamp. I think that was the sort of criteria uh, that made him buy the filly. What do you say, yes or no? Billy, let me hear something. And they're running. And warm welcome. Breaks quite fast towards the near side. Warm welcome going on from Sonic Lady. Then comes C. Par just in behind them. And it's Sonic Lady. Warm welcome. Uh, I Love Lucy, Miami Blues. Etta's Pet not far behind the leaders. And Sunly Saint on the near side. But Sonic Lady with the advantage as they run down towards the three furlong poles. Sonic Lady from Warm Welcome, C. Par, Sunly Saint on the near side, Etta's Pet just in behind uh, C. Par, coming down to the two furlong poles, Sonic Lady from C. Par, Warm Welcome, then Etta's Pet, then on the near side is Mill Racer, but as they race into the closing stages, it's Sonic Lady from Warm Welcome, then C. Par on the far side, Etta's Pet on the near side, and Sonic Lady going right away from them over on the far side. Sonic Lady from Warm Welcome and C. Par and Mill Racer. And as they come to the line, Sonic Lady wins it very easily indeed. Warm Welcome Break is. Break outside of Mrs. Wadilove, Gay Kellaway. But that looks like it. Yes, and away they go. And Arla Malik gets a good fast start up towards the outside. This one unbeaten, as is the favourite. But uh, going with her up the centre is the favourite Sonic Lady. And nearest to us is Mrs. Wadi Love. Those are the first three in the first furlong. And they're being followed by Meteoric on the near side and Lady Sophie running fast. After these first five come Embler. And the back markers at the moment are Babylona and Bastara. They've just about completed the first quarter of a mile in the Nelwyn Stakes, and it's Sonic Lady, the favourite now, who's pulled away up to the front. Sonic Lady and Mrs. Wadilove still there on the outside is the second favourite, Arla Malik. And with just uh, half a mile to go, it's over to Graham. And Sonic Lady certainly running free enough in the centre of the track, chased at this stage by Meteoric. Mrs. Wadilove up on the outside, Arla Malik next to the rails. But now Sonic Lady settled, they've got just over two and a half the race. Sonic Lady from Meteoric who moved best to post coming up to challenge her now. Alan Malik next to the rails behind these Embler with the white cap switched to the with a late run coming on the outside. Two furlongs left to race in the Nelguin stakes and Sonic Lady goes for home from Alan Malik in second. Behind these comes Lady Sophie with a red cap. After these Meteoric fading at Embler and Sonic Lady really coming home in style. Alan Malik chasing her in second place inside the final furlong and Sonic Lady putting daylight between herself and her two nearest rivals with Lady Sophie and Alan Malik but it's Sonic Lady impressively up towards the line. Sonic Lady is the winner. Sonic Lady, the winner of photo for second between Lady Sophie and Alan Malik. A gap of some six to eight lengths to Embla, then Bastara, then Bambalona, then Mrs. Wadi Love. Meteoric faded right away, and so too did Moonlight Lady. And so the result of this Nelgwin stakes, it's a win for number 13, Sonic Lady, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained at Newmarket by Michael Stout, and ridden by Walter Swinburne. She ran freely early on, then she settled, but by gum she came home. Well, a photo for second place between, I think we'll find, Lady Sophie, owned by Mr. Jim Joel, also trained here at Newmarket. And uh, there is uh, Lady Sophie in the black jacket nearest to us. For my money, she's second. On the far side, for my money, third horse home is Alam Malik. But this was a very impressive performance indeed by our winner, a daughter of Nureyev, Sonic Lady, who maintains her unbeaten record. Just one run she had last year there she won her came home in style and this 13 to 8 favorite winner of this Nelgwin stakes has i think won a most creditable race because for my money i must say i was a little bit anxious as they 1000 guineas away to a very level break indeed and rose the sea is the first to find her stride from out on the outside improvise then wait in goal for ireland just after these is grant couture then comes the favorite sonic lady being followed by 
Embla, then aft Embla, Bridesmaid, the grey filly, one of the outsiders, then Lady Sophie up on the outside, and towards the rear of the field are Ala Malik, and then May Soon, then Dear Margie now towards the back with Tender Loving Care and Volida and Midway Lady. But up front, it's Rose the Sea, Rose the Sea in the lead, under Cash as Musen, and uh, this partnership being followed on the extreme outside by Improvise and making good headway up just behind the leaders now is the favorite Sonic Lady. Just after them, Ala Malik and then Grand Couture and Dear Margie, two from France. But as they near halfway in the 1,000 guineas, it's on to Graham in the stands. So Rose of the Sea leads, Embla with a white cap at the top of the picture gets closer, Sonic Lady going as well as any at this stage, waiting gold. Just tracking these is Tender Loving Care, also coming with a run, Ala Malik, Lady Sophie on the right of the picture, Midway Lady starts to pick up, wide open, two and a half the race, tread right across the track, Sonic Lady goes for home, never been a mile before, Midway Lady certainly stays and looks a big danger toward the right of the picture, waiting gold up there too. Also finishing strongly is Maysoon in the blue jacket and with just over one to race down into the dips, Sonic Lady, May Soon, Midway Lady, Alan Malik starts to make up ground. But it's Midway Lady, May Soon, Sonic Lady, Alan Malik, Embla forget the rest inside the final furlong. And it's Midway Lady who's throwing down the determined challenge for the start there. Midway Lady and May Soon is going to be close up towards the line. Midway Lady gets there. Midway Lady, May Soon, Sonic Lady, then Alan Malik, then came Embla, followed by Waiting Gold for leader, then Dear Margie, Lady Sophie, followed by Spun Gold, Bridesmaid. After these, tender loving care, the back markers rose of the sea and absolutely tailed off was Grand Couture. And so the outcome, the outcome of this, the general accident, 1,000 guineas, is a three-way photo up front between number 11. In fact, Midway Lady has been called the winner. Midway Lady in the frame as the winner. And so a photo for second place between the Michael Stout pair. His jinx on the race stays. But it's Ray Cochran who has come through on Midway Lady, owned by H.H. H. Rainier Train here at Newmarket by Ben Hanbury and bred by Edward A. Seltzer and the Shadow Lawn Farm, the 10 to 1 winner of this general accident, 1,000 guineas. Midway Lady has got to the post in front of the photo for second place between there on the far side, May Soon, and on the near side, Sonic Lady. That's desperately close with Ala Malik close up on I the heel. I suppose I could take the blame, but I did say before I went, is there any papers to go with this filly? And the answer came, no, you don't need them for Ireland. So I left it at that until the next morning when the vet came and asked for a papers, passport. I said, well, I haven't got them. And then it was all panic. The chap in Ireland done it for us, Michael um, Osborne. Without him, she wouldn't have run. We welcome our viewers and listeners from overseas as the Irish 1000 Guineas gets underway. Cova Castro comes out a little slowly. Park Express, one of the leaders. Tanuma well away towards the inside as they head across now through the first furlong. And Park Express is up there disputing the lead. Also prominent is Asteroid Field. Camargo and Tanuma race towards the inner. Up with them too is Flair Royale. Just in behind the leaders, too, is Calametta as they race towards the elbow now with over six furlongs to cover. Park Express is one of the leaders, also prominent there, Fleur Royale. Right up with them, too, towards the outside is Sher Crane, Bee's Nest uh, towards the wide outside. Golden Oriole is uh, there towards the inner as they race down towards the halfway stage. Park Express disputing the lead. Up there, too, is Asteroid Field, and well, there's Sher Crane. Right up with the leaders on the stand side is Bee's Nest as they race now towards the three furlong marker. Flair Royale and Park Express and Asteroid Field. Sher Crane, Snow Top right there. Sonic Lady coming there on the outside, then Bee's Nest and Living Rough. Lake Champlain just behind them. Golden Oriole towards the far side with Tanuma Camargo. Racing towards the two furlong marker now. Closely bunched. Sonic Lady coming there strongly to dispute it with Asteroid Field. Flair Royale is in third. They're followed by Beze Vol making ground now in fourth. Bee's Nest coming up the stand side, racing towards the final furlong. Sonic Lady's just the leader from Asteroid Field. Then Beze Vol. Living Rough is running on well. Then Lake Champlain and Bee's Nest are inside the final furlong. And Sonic Lady's the leader from Asteroid Field. Living Rough. Lake Champlain coming home well but out front it's Sonic Lady the leader as they go to the line in the 1000 guineas Sonic Lady's going to win it close for second between Asteroid Field and Lake Champlain then Living Rock Sonic Lady as you see the only real problem I can see for to stop her winning this race is if she runs too freely 
but she's in stall number five with all the equipment on her to help uh, try and help Walter Swinburne settle her. Embler is in. Carhu Lady will be one of the last, I think. But still to go in is Valida, who showed a lot of promise at the beginning of last year. She's a really fast filly. Hasn't quite fulfilled it since. She's got the blindfold on. Philip Robinson about to throw it off. And let's join Pedro Sullivan. And that's it. Dead away. Kahu Lady right up there in the early stages. The leader. And the leader on the near side going on now from someone special and Kahu Lady with Sonic Lady back in fourth. It's Valida making it. Someone special is next. Carhu Lady and then Sonic Lady. They race past the six marker. Valida from someone special. Carhu Lady. Sonic Lady with Embler very close to her. Chalk Stream is the back marker. Stately Last just in front of her. Valida still making it from someone special and Kahu Lady for Ireland, then Sonic Lady with Embler coming there on the outside of Sonic Lady. Then comes Chalk Stream and finally Stately Lass as they swing for home with Valida well clear of someone special. Then Kahu Lady, then Sonic Lady making ground. Embler staying on the fence. Walter Swinburne switching Sonic Lady towards the outside, the right of the picture. The leader in the lead from someone special. Sonic Lady coming there strongly, but Embler picking, picking up ground as well as they come down to the furlong pole. Sonic Lady goes to the front now from Embler on the near side. Someone special over on the far side. Sonic Lady from someone special and Embler as they race into the closing stages in the coronation stakes. Sonic Lady is going to win it in brilliant style at the line. And Sonic Lady is the winner. Second is Embler. And third, someone special behind them, Kahui Lady. And behind Kahui came the longtime leader, Valida. And then Stately Lass and last, Chalk Stream. And so the result of the coronation stakes. First, number two, Sonic Lady, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by Michael Stout, ridden by Walter Swinburne. Second was number one, Embler, owned by Mr. Charles and George, trained by Luca Kumani, written by Pat Edry. And third was number six, someone special, owned by Helena Springfield Limited, trained by Paul Cole, and written by Richard Quinn. Fourth was number three, Kahu Lady. Well, Sonic Lady took a little bit of time to drop her bit today, but uh, when she did settle, she settled nicely. But it was a false pace early on, and Valida kicked for home, and just for a moment looked as though she might slip them. Someone special came under pressure early in the straight, but look at Walter now cruising up, looking over his left shoulder to see how Pat Edry is getting on on Embler, and the answer is, not so good, Embler. And now Walter picks his filly up, and from being a couple of lengths down, suddenly, before you know it, he's a couple of lengths in front. He just swings his stick at the filly, but she's not thinking about stopping. Pat Edry's now got within a couple of lengths, or three lengths on Embler, but look at this filly go in the last furlong. Sheer class, a brilliant filly, and if she just settled a little bit better, although she's settling better than she used to do, well, she'd be even better and give herself uh, more of a chance. But in the end, she's run out a hugely impressive winner from Embler second and someone special third. Yes, she's only ever been beat once. That was in the Guineas in the 1,000, so now she's a winner of four of her five races. Having made a spectacular two-year-old debut here last year, this daughter of Nureyev out of Stumped by Owen Anthony. So Walter Swinburne returning to the place occupied by his father after the 1978 coronation stakes. Wally, having won at contrastingly more favourable odds that afternoon on Sutton Place, a 14 to 1 chance, trained by Dermot Weld. And the distances here are two lengths and half a length 
Michael Stout with Otto Swinburne. And Sheikh Mohammed once again in the winner's circle following his great success yesterday when Shaw Blade won the St. James's Palace in a race that was a great triumph for the family, the McToom family. And Sonic Lady returned 15 to 8 on. And of course, Sheikh Mohammed also won yesterday with Bonami. A really brilliant filly, this. A second successive favourite to win the Coronation Stakes, won by Alba Hathry, many of you will remember last year. And the full starting prize is as follows. Uh, first number two, Sonic Lady, 15 to 8 on, favourite. Uh, second one, number one, Embler, 3 to 1. And third number six, someone special. There are seven runners, the win tote, £1.50, and the place is £1.30, and £2 exactly, and the dual forecast, £1.90. pence. And that's it. Just one to go. The Philip, Sonic Lady, and all installed for the Swetnam Stud Sussex Stakes, and they're running. And Sonic just dwells a little bit, probably intentionally, on the part of uh, Walter Swinburne, as his stable companion, Scottish Reel, goes off to set the running from Bold Arrangement and Pennine Walk and Officio and Sonic going very close up to them now. But Scottish Reel with the advantage from Bold Arrangement, then Officio, then Pennine Walk and Sonic Lady. Scottish Reel by about three lengths from Bold Arrangement. Two lengths up on Officio, a gap of four lengths then to Pennine Walk and a length and a half then to Sonic Lady. As they begin to race downhill, going at a blistering pace in this Wetnam Stud Sussex Stakes with Scottish Reel with the advantage and a clear advantage too at the moment from Bold Arrangement, Officio, Pennine Walk and Sonic Lady beginning to swing now for home with under half a mile to run and Scottish Reel from Bold Arrangement, Officio, Pennine Walk and then Sonic Lady running down towards the three furlong pole. Bold, Arra Bold Arrangement trying to get on terms with Scottish Reel, Officio improving to Sonic Lady towards the outside. Pennine Walk with a tremendous amount to do at the moment coming down towards the two furlong pole. Scottish Reel from Officio, Sonic Lady coming there fast now on the stand side. Being chased by Pennine Walk, they're coming down to the furlong pole and it looks wide open. Sonic Lady on the near side takes a fractional advantage now from Officio. Pennine Walk unleashing a run now on the near side, but it's Sonic Lady. Sonic Lady as they race up towards the line as quick and brilliantly and as they come to the line. Sonic Lady has won it from Scottish Reel and Pennine Walk. That's the one, two, three. With uh, breathing right down Pennine Walk's neck, the uh, Kentucky Derby third bold arrangement. And so the result of the 1986 Swetnam Stud Sussex Stakes. First, number eight, Sonic Lady, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by Michael Stout, written by Walter Swinburne. Second was number three, Scottish Reel, owned by Cheveley Park Stout, trained by Michael Stout, and written by Greville Starkey. And officially, it's a photo for third place, a photo for third. But uh, what a marvellous one-two here for Michael Stout, as the filly wins her sixth race in seven outings. And there's the latest betting, betting nine to four on Sonic Lady, six to one Embler, and seven to one the four-year-old Ever Genial, twenty to one Bar. There is Dusty Dollar, Willie Carson, and as she goes in, Willie. His whip, rather interestingly, tucked in the back of his breeches. I haven't seen that too often before. But as he goes in, I'll hand over. That is, in fact, Dusty Dollar is going to be the last one in, so I'll hand over to Raleigh Gilbert. Thank you, John. Yes, Dusty Dollar, representing the Connections owner, trainer, and jockey of Canadian Mill, who won the opening race by a length at six to one. And being a little bit awkward at the moment, Dusty Dollar. Of course, Ever Junior will be trying to give 
Henry Cecil and Steve Cawthon a double after the two to one success of Sue Haley, of a genial the runner up in this race last year. Now is she totally in just about? And awkward moments there down at the stalls for Willie Carson and indeed the stalls handlers. Not to say it, not to mention the filly as well. But that's it, away they go with just with the Sonic Lady, a long odds on favorite to take this race one last year by another classic filly, Alba Hathry. And in the early part of the race, out on the right on her own, that's Purchase Paper Chase, who is not the overall leader. That uh, goes to Ever Genial. It's Ever Genial making it. Ever Genial in the lead, followed by someone special in second. Then comes Embla settling down in third place. They've completed the first quarter of a mile behind those leaders. Race Holbrook Sutton, and then comes the favorite Sonic Lady. And the last two at the moment are Dusty Dollar and finally Argon Laser. But they're fairly well grouped with Ever Genial and Steve Cawthon continuing to lead from someone special and Richard Quinn in second. They're past the five furlong pole now. And as they run towards the halfway point of the child stakes, it's Ever Genial in front still, Ever Genial but closely followed by Ember and someone special. That's the one, two, three, over to Graham. The important thing is that Sonic Lady just cruising up there on the outside settled beautifully through the first half of the race. And it's ever genial in the yellow. Embler, who moved particularly well down to the start, comes under pressure a little bit for Padetteri. Is here on the outside, Sonic Lady absolutely cruising. Two and a half furlongs to go. Sonic Lady from Embler, ever genial. Behind these purchased paper chase, Dusty Dollar in the blue jacket starts to make up ground. Also coming with a bit of a run is Argon Laser. And Sonic Lady suddenly has to go to work. Sonic Lady in the lead from Dusty Dollar, who fell eats up ground down the outside and Dusty Dollar is the only one who's going to threaten Sonic Lady. No, she's not. Sonic Lady draws clear. Sonic Lady going on by one length, by two lengths. Sonic Lady not pressed is going to win this Sonic Lady. The winner, Dusty Dollar, second Argon laser third. Purchase paper chase, Emblo disappointing run, Holbrook Sutton never genial and struggling last and tailed off for someone special. And so the outcome of this child stakes, it's a win for number four, Sonic Lady, in very impressive fashion indeed. She's owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained here at Newmarket by Michael Stout and ridden by Walter Swinburne, his 34th winner of the season and bred by Mr. J. Allen McTeer, the nine to four on favorite winner of this group three child stakes i must say for a moment or two she just had to work a furlong and a half out but then when she met the rising ground came away well to beat the second horse home number six dusty dollar ridden by willie carson and the third horse home argon laser ridden by number five argon laser ridden by brent thompson so in the end a fairly smooth victory for sonic lady but i must say if you'd have had the 90,000 to 40,000 on you might just have had a minor heart attack with a furlong and a half to go because then it didn't look absolutely certain that she was going to win however walter swinburne had plenty up his sleeve and so well was she finishing that she's taken quite some time to pull up but there in our picture are the principles concerned to the outcome of this child stakes in the maroon jacket sonic lady and here she is in action well she settled quite beautifully uh, there was absolutely no problem with the brakes and by this time uh, walter swinburne has allowed sonic lady to cruise through to join uh, in the first instance embla but it turns out not to be embla who's the threat um, but dusty dollar on the outside and argon laser in third place here who also runs very well uh, I agree with Graham that Walter does just have to shake Sonic Lady up, but I honestly don't think that there's any very serious danger. Uh, I don't think he ever picks up his whip, just uh, nudges away with hands and heels, and this very, very fast filly of Sheikh Mohammed's quickens away up the hill and beats Dusty Dollar in style. Sonic Lady returning there, not here in picture now. She'll be coming in behind the tree. There she is. That's Sonic Lady. Return the nine to four on favourite. She's the 18th favourite in 42 runnings of the Charles Stakes to win since the war, the 10th to go off at odds on. And she's the fifth filly since the war to win Royal Ascot's Coronation Stakes and the Child Stakes. Alba Hathry did it last year, Challen in 82 and Jacinth in 73. And those two were also returned at odds on in the Child Stakes. And the Thousand Guineas win a happy laughter in 1953. The distance, one and a half lengths and three lengths. And Sonic Ladies, the third Irish 1,000 Guineas winner also to take the Child Stakes. The others were Alba Hathry last year and the Harry Rag trained Favoletta 15 years ago.
but the bookmakers here and at home are wondering how they bet on the course. At four to nine, six to one, you could have got against Embla, seven ever genial. Who on earth was running for the bookmakers? It certainly wasn't Sonic Lady. The official time of the winning course was one minute 37.45 seconds. Well, we just heard a very one fast time, 137.45, a whole second faster than the standard. And interesting, if you look at this bridle worn by Sonic Lady, it's actually an, what they call an old English bridle. You, if you actually looked at the bit which you, in the mouth, it has two brakes in the bit, not just one. And that is a... the nose band has got a bit of elastic on it to keep it high up in the filly's mouth. And with the double joint in the bit and with the elastic on the nose band, it means that uh, the, the bit can't be pulled round the mouth by the filly, and therefore she can't hang and she can't really tug as bad as she might have done if she had a plain bridle. And uh, it's, a, it's one that Tom Jones used to run uh, a lot of his famous old uh, herders and chasers, indeed Frenchman's Co, people remember very well. Tom Jones just told me that he ran in that bridle. And I think, uh, John Oakes, if you remember, you can actually remember them running in, the, in that outfit. Yes, I can. Uh, the, the, the visible part is the elastic noseband, but as you say, there are those two struts that run down uh, the horse or the filly's nose, uh, and keep the vital thing is that the bit, uh, I didn't know, I'd forgotten that the, the bit is jointed, that's obviously vital, but the most vital thing is that the bit is kept high in the horse's mouth, and as you say, she can't hang and pull it through to one side. I believe Frenchman's Cove used to take a tremendous tug uh, with Stan Meller, and uh, it's fascinating to remember that he, he used to wear the same thing. Let's anyway have the starting price. First number four, Sonic Lady, the nine to four on favorite. Second number six, Dusty Dollar, 20 to one. And third number five, Argon Laser, 33 to one. The tape returns win one pound 30, places one pound 10, one pound 40, and seven pounds 30. The dual forecast came to seven pounds and forty pence and eight ran. At Warwick in the 245, the winner number three, Bronze Opal, six to one. Second number eleven, Red River Boy, five to one. And third number one, Blaring Gone, also at five to one. The favourite here, number seventeen, actualizations at eleven to ten. And the tote returns win seven pounds eighty, places two pounds thirty, one pound twenty, and two pounds twenty. The dual forecast came to twenty-eight pounds and thirty pence, and the computer straight forecast thirty-three pounds twenty-six, fourteen rand. Here's a winning trainer, Michael Stout. Your voice working, Michael? Yes, it's all right today. <laughs> Yesterday, Michael couldn't couldn't speak at all, hardly. Michael, two races ago, three races ago, when she ran in the one thousand guineas, this filly really got very steamed up. Today, she appeared admirably calm. What what's happened to prove her so much? Well, I think, you know, there are longer preliminaries in the guineas, and um, she just got a little uptight. Um, but I think that, you know, as a result, we've taken even more precautions since, and I, I don't think she would do that again, even were there to be a parade. I mean, to answer your next question, she'll go for the Sussex Stakes, and there'll be a parade there, and I would be very hopeful all's well. We thought she settled today better than she's ever settled, actually. And this bridle is an old English bridle, Tom Jones was telling me That's about right. it. Yeah. That, does she wear that in her work at home as well? No, we just race her in it now. And how far a mile for the Sussex Stakes? Oh, you, yes, we wouldn't go beyond a mile with this filly. I'd rather drop a bat than go. Mm. You know, we won't go beyond a mile. But Wally says she's getting, she's very, very idle in front. Well, let's look Not at doing the too much closing when she's stages there. again because she, she goes and, and joins them really completely on the bridle. And it's, it's the, uh, of course, as always with the July course, Michael, the, the hill comes to greet them a bit. That's and it. uh, it's Dusty Dolly comes on, on the outside. But uh, water has to change from sitting still to actually working with you. Yes. She's just not doing too much when she's in front. She's like that at home, too, actually. When she goes in front, she doesn't go away too far. But we're very happy with her. She seems in a very good frame of mind, and I think she looks great now. Yes, she, she looks great. She does great. and It's all, it's all on the roll for the Stout Stable, which, of course, uh, you said you knew what our next question was going to be about her and the, her next race, the Sussex Stakes, but you know what my next question is now going to be. Yeah. News through, you've announced that both Sherastani and Shadai will both go for the King George. But... Provisors about going or anything else? The only else? proviso I make is if it is very firm and they haven't watered, for instance, um, we would be reluctant to run Sharastani on very firm ground. You know, good to firm, that, you know, we, 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 we very much want to run. And the jockeys for the two? Well, Wally will ride uh, Sharastani, Pat Edry will ride Shadari. And is that, a, is that a choice of Wally or...? 
Well, you couldn't get off Shalastani, could you? Absolutely. And, Michael, we haven't seen you since uh, Shalastani's Irish, uh, Irish 2000, 1000 Irish derby. How is he since? Oh, well. yeah, he's grand. Very pleased with him. Well, the, the big match rolls near. Great. And you're not frightened of Guy Howard? Um, I, I never said that. I'm very frightened. <laughs> but, no, it's, it's going to be a great race. I think Lady so. going very easily in fifth place, uh, just on the outside of Magical Wonder. And Sonic Lady really taking a hold of her bet as they run down the hill. Lorong still making it from Bold Arrangement second. Uh, Sonic Lady running really three there on the outside as they race round towards the straight. And Lirung still makes it from Bold Arrangement. Sonic Lady, Magical Wonder making a run towards the outside. Thrill shows there on the inner with just two and a half furlongs to run. Lirung, Water Swinburne cruising on Sonic Lady. Magical Wonder towards the outside. Thrill show going really well on the inside with Cash Asmussen. But Sonic Lady storms into the lead. Sonic Lady from Lirung. On the inside, Thrill Show is running on again towards the outside, directing, coming with a good run with El Sol. But it's Sonic Lady under pressure now, inside the final furlong. It's Sonic Lady from Thrill Show. Sonic Lady from Thrill Show and Lurong. 50 yards to run, Sonic Lady holding on, desperately close at the line. Sonic Lady wins it, Thrill Show is second, Lurong is third. Fourth was magical one. And they're off. Fred Astaire is away quickly from the outside. Here comes Mangaki, and a hot team is put to the whip as they pass it the first time with Last Tycoon in between horses as they race for the first turn. And it is Mangaki now who comes away with the lead and angles over to the inside. Last Tycoon in tight toward the inside. And Sonic Lady is up with the early leaders on the outside and gaining ground. Truce Maker has come away fourth and advances steadily from fourth position, two and a half lengths. And Al Mamoon is now fifth on the outside. Hot Team is now saving ground toward the rail in sixth, and Fred Astaire is seventh on the outside, followed by Glow, who is now eighth. Magical Wonder is moving up along with Double Faint. They're now about 10 lengths off the lead. Then it's Air Display and Lieutenant's Lark. Thrill Show is second to last, and Entry Mate Palace Music is right there with him. They're 15 lengths off the lead as they continue up the backstretch. Quick pace, 22 and two, 45 and one. It's still Mangaki. And Sonic Lady is just off his flank on the outside. Truce Maker has asked for more run now. There goes Fred Astaire on the outside. Last Tycoon is tucked along the rail. Al Mamoon has asked for more run now, but he needs racing room as they come to the top of the stretch. Magical Wonder, he's only five lengths off the lead. Double Faint is swinging out for racing room as the field turns for home. Sonic Lady turns it on and takes the lead. Here comes Fred Astaire. Last Tycoon is charging through in between horses. Sonic Lady and Last Tycoon. Now it's Last Tycoon who takes the lead as they come to the finish. And here comes Palace Music putting in a late run. Last Tycoon all out. Palace Music surging as they hit the wire. And Last Tycoon holds on to win. Five horse was. They were coming at Last Tycoon late. Sonic Lady gave it up in the stretch. Last Tycoon took over from there. Palace Music couldn't get to him.